Liam, what about Sweden going the other way? Like we, we've seen them defending and they do that extremely well. Are they more than just that? Yeah, you know, we saw against Germany, they took the lead. Uh, you know, they had a hard team to beat in the last 16 in Switzerland. And Forsberg is the main man, you know. This is him. He's, he's got the ability to take players on, beat them. Uh, he's not the centre forward, but he's the one that plays in between the midfield and the centre forward. Uh, was a good ball from him there. <clears throat> this is against Germany. Um, here he goes again. He can take players on, and he's definitely the danger man that England have to watch. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan Henderson uh, pays uh, absolute attention to this guy. Uh, he can pick a pass as well. He's, uh, he's their best player. After Ibrahimovic leaving, He's their talisman. He's the one they look to. Gets a bit of luck here uh, for the goal against Switzerland. Uh, but he's good in tight situations. And he's definitely uh, a man that England have to watch. Now, he got a bit lucky there, but he dropped the shoulder well. He made himself space to score. Um, he's definitely the main man. But as Eamon said, they're solid defensively. Um, they'll be good at set pieces as well. They'll be well prepared. Seb Larsson, who I had at Arsenal as a kid, has had a long career. He's 33 years of age now. Uh, he's very good at corner kicks and free kicks. They're kind of similar teams, but I would say England have the more talented team. There's not a lot of difference between them. Just one point worth making. Uh, we played them in the Euro Euros two years ago. Zlatan is missing and he, when they qualified, he put his hand up, he wanted to come back. He said, it won't be a World Cup without Zlatan. Anderson, the coach, ignored him. Now, he, when he was in the team, he's such a dominant figure. Scored four goals for them one night in Germany to, for, in a four-all draw. He's a huge figure. So he's out of the picture. And what's happened to that team in two years is the, the vacuum he left, other people have come into it and grown. And the coach... Wouldn't have anything to do with Zlatan. Didn't want to know about him because since he's taken over after the Euros, he's created a, his own team and guys have stepped up to the mark. Sometimes a towering figure like Ibrahimovic can dominate. Like Roy Keane used to dominate the Irish mm -hmm. team and I was talking to Damien and Richard Dunn the other day. He said, I said, what was it like when he left Saipan? They said, well, he was such a dominant figure that he, when he walked out, there was a gap, but we, we all stepped up to the plate. Robbie Kane, people like that. And Ireland did really well in the mm. 2002 World Cup against Spain, against Germany. So uh, the coach had enough belief and conviction. And I think the players appreciate that and they step up. And Zlatan isn't talked about anywhere except here. They don't but it's worth, it's or worth except noting. by Zlatan. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 They don't concede many goals, do no. they, Dara? You know, no. two against Germany in this tournament. Against Italy in the playoff, 180 minutes, no goals conceded. You know, so you have to treat them with respect. This will be a very difficult game yeah. for England today. And do you think, Keith, you know, this, the, it, complacency, could that be an issue with England? Or, no. like, Southgate appears to have thought of everything, so that's got to be top of the list. No, I don't think so. I think the, the only way this might get to them is because of the way the draws opened up that there's a little bit more pressure on them now. It's not as if they're facing one of the big boys where, OK, it's a valiant effort. The expectations in England are, we're going to beat Sweden, we're going to beat Croatia and Russia because we could and should, and we're going to be in a World Cup final. I think that's where they are now. But yeah. they're going to be a difficult nut to crack. There's no doubt about that because I'm in touch on the, the, the way the Swedes set up, the way they play. We've gone through a generation of defenders being brought up about everything they do on the ball, the way they split, the way they go high, goalkeepers ball at their feet. This Swedish team take such pride in how they defend as a team, and even more so since the Euros, because they couldn't do that with Zlatan and the team. Yeah. With Toivonen and very good front, they are like two aggressive central midfielders when they drop in. They rat, they harry, they harass, mm -hmm. and then they've got the energy when they win the ball back to go and provide some kind of outlet on, on the two and a half of possession. So mm -hmm. anyone who's comparing them to the team we played yeah. in the Euros and drew with, uh, thanks to a Wes Hull and goal, uh, you know, no, they might wonder what are they doing in the, in the quarterfinal World Cup. I wonder when you get Wesley Hill in yeah. this World Cup. <laughs> no, then. but it, it, that, that's what happened. He disappeared and people stepped up to the yeah. mark. And it's a great credit to the coach. And what Liam said is right. 
they are formidable and will be today. Yeah, he's uh, Anderson, the coach, as you mentioned him. He's, he's yeah. come through uh, Swedish football.